Good morning and happy Tuesday. It is June the 9th. Yes, June the 9th. I just wanted to make sure. And it is a beautiful day here in North Carolina. And I am back in my beauty room. Um, my moon tapestry is up. And Faith is behind me. And um, I am happy to be back in my beauty room. Um, my air conditioner wasn't working, but my mom come and fixed it yesterday. It was um, operator error. Yeah, um, I wasn't operating it right. So, with that being said, um, hi, my name is Christine Kingston, and I'm a grateful three-year recovering addict, and I come to you from Elizabeth City, North Carolina, to read to you the Day by Day by Hazelden, the Daily Reflections um, book by A.A., and the Just for Today Daily Meditation by Narcotics Anonymous. And I read these so you don't have to. And I read these because um, they are a inspiration to my day, and I hope they are an inspiration and hope to your day. So we're going to dive on into um, Day by Day. And it is June the 9th, and the topic is Living Miracles. People constantly abuse alcohol and drugs. It seems that only a miracle can take them out of the depths of despair. It is a miracle when this happens, but it is not necessarily to, what, to have a great vision of the, or experience if we just do each task ask of us daily. Amidst all the turmoil of the day, if we exercise patience, faith, and love, we will have the greatest opportunity to gain a clean, joyful life. If we practice the things of the Spirit, we will become our own living miracles. Am I a living spirit? Am I living spirituality? Yes. Lord, day by day, may I see more of your spirit in what I do in the miracle of life. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yes, every day is a miracle of life um, when you wake up. And um, it's just um, a miracle that we are allowed to wake up when so many others didn't. And... With that being said, I'm going to dive into the Daily Reflections from AA, June the 9th, Living in the Now. First, we try living in the now or just in order to stay sober, and it works. Once the idea has became a part of our thinking, we find that living life in 24-hour segments is an eff effective and satisfying way to handle many other matters as well. Living Sober, page 7. That's out of the AA Big Book. <clears throat> Excuse me. One day at a time. To a newcomer, this is another one-liners of AA. May seem ridiculous. The passwords of the AA. Fellowship can become lifelines in moments of stress. Each day can be like a rose unfurling according to the plan of a power greater than myself. My program should be planted in the right location just as it will need to be groomed, nourished, and protected from disease. My planning will require patience and my realizing that some flowers will be more perfect than others. Each stage of the petals unfolding can bring wonderful and, and delight if I do not interfere or let my expectations override my acceptance, That and this brings serenity. And yes, we have to live in the now, because um, living in the now is something that we have to do. And the just for today, um, old dreams needn't die. Lost dreams awaken and new possibilities arise. Basic text, page 91. And this is from the, the um, Narcotics Anonymous um, 
we call it the blue book. As most of us had dreams when we were young, whether we dreamed of dynamic of a dynamic career, a large and loving family, or travels abroad, our dreams died when our addiction took hold. Anything we ever wanted for ourselves was cast away in our pursuit of drugs. Our dreams didn't go beyond the next drug and the euphoria we hoped it would bring. Now in recovery, we find a reason to hope that our lost dreams could still come true. No matter how old we are, how much or how much our addiction has taken from us, or how likely it may seem our freedom from active addiction gives us the freedom to pursue our ambitions. We may discover that we're very talented at something, or find a hobby we love, or learn that continuing our education can bring remarkable rewards. We used to put most of our energy into spinning excuses and rationalizations of our failures. Today we go forward and make use of many opportunities life presents us. We may be amazed at what, we be, what we're capable of. With our foundation of recovery, success, fulfillment, and satisfaction are within our reach at last. Just for today, starting today, I will do whatever I can to realize my dreams. And that's what I have done by going back to college. Um, I wanted to be a veterinarian when I was younger, but that's not possible now. So I'm going to become a physical and occupational therapist, one who helps people like myself who are disabled. And um, I can help them through their hardships and let them know that I have been through what they have been through that they can't tell me, well, you don't know because you've never been through something like this. Well, I'm one of those people that can say, yes, I have. So with that being said, we're going to close with the serenity prayer. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. And remember, guys, this is not the only thing I do. I undo unboxings of several subscription boxes, and um, I have giveaways on my channel. And I also have face masks Saturday night at 8 p.m. live. So please come join me live on face mask Saturday so we can have girl talk, boy talk, um, and um, we can have fun over there um, on Saturday nights. Um, we had a good turnout last Saturday night, and I hope to see you guys there. So with that being said, I love you lots, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.